Hey folks, Naz here. Another episode of Medieval Dynasty in the Oxbow. Alrighty, so it's still technically dark, but it is, uh, let's see, oh, I hit the wrong button. Uh, it's five, a little after five o'clock in the morning. But what I want to do today is I want to hunt those bear for sure. Uh, probably after the episode, I'll go through the cave and get all of the copper and tin and all of that good stuff out. That way we've got some more stone. Um, I did move our new villager from the last episode. Um, Demroka, I think is what her, her name is. I moved her from the mining hut into, uh, as a lumberjack. So, <clears throat> excuse me, into the woodshed because I'm still building those houses and buildings and I need a lot of wood and I pretty much ran out of all of my wood finishing up these two houses last night. Sorry, my mouse was acting funny. Um, so I finished up those two houses last night overnight and I ended up, I ended up crafting a copper hammer. You can see it there. And we also needed a copper hammer for the hammerhead quest. So I have an extra copper hammer so we can go and turn that in. So I smelted up all of the copper ore that we did have. Let me get into first person here and let me put my hammer away. No, nope. <clears throat> my throat's going to act up on me today, apparently. So I've, I've smelted up all the copper we had all the tin we had we found some iron bar or iron ore somewhere i smelted that up so it's ready when we can actually use that which is probably going to be a while and then i just dropped my excess copper and tin ores on the other side of the forge here uh, because i don't have anybody in here working it i'm just going to drop that so it's easy for me to pick it up and use it now um what else I think that's about all I did last night was build those buildings and work on the copper. I built the copper hammer. I think everybody's going to have the tools they need. Let's go into the tools. Uh, let's see. We have three stone ax. Nobody's going to be using the pickaxes today. Nobody's going to be using the shovel or the hose. I will this evening. Um, so all we need is to make sure that they have stone axes because nobody's doing mining or anything right management lumberjack hunter uh the hunter do we have knives available let's go into the house what do i have the hunter doing i think i have them gathering feathers hunting yes she's doing nothing but gathering feathers So maybe I should make a couple of knives and start having her gather leather. That probably would be a good idea. How many, how much feathers do we currently have on hand? We have 718 feathers on hand. Okay. How much are the arrows? So the arrows are going to be, copper arrows are going to be about six coins a piece. What's the same thing as a bag, right? I'm pretty sure that's the same thing as a bag. Let me let me grab a piece of leather. Let's craft up the the, the no 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 cute. Let's craft up a bag. Now, copper arrow is a twelve, and the bag is a twelve. Yeah, so it's the same price. So yeah, I no don't. Do, don't do copper arrows, that's for sure, because that's a waste of, of valuable resources, and, and that's too much time to gather copper. Um, okay, that's good. So I will do that. Um, let's, do I have any knives in here? No, there are no knives in there. So let's do that. I need sticks. Let's make some, some copper knives. Um, we'll just, we'll just grab some sticks. It's, it's fine. Now let's go make 
uh, a few copper knives, maybe one for myself, and then a couple, was it copper tools? Yeah, there's the knife. Can we buy it? Yes. So let's make, we can make 24. I don't need to make 24. I'm going to make one for myself and let's make three for the hunter. And then what we'll do is we will turn down her feather gathering and increase her leather gathering. Um, as far as meat, I can go and do a little bit of hunting and grab the meat, which I like to do the hunting, some of that hunting anyway. Let's go. Where's the knives? There we go. Let's put the knives in there. We'll put three of them in there. Should be pretty good for her. And then put the sticks in there. Oh, I forgot to drop that copper bar. Put that little vial in there. I had to take a health potion. So after the last episode, I was heading back to the village and a fox ran across my path chasing a rabbit. Well, it turned around and it started attacking me. Apparently it felt threatened by me, by it running in front of me. <laughs> so I had to kill it, but it had dropped my health by like, I don't know, 35 points or something. Okay, so we got that. Let's go into the management screen. Let's change. Uh, let's go to the hunting lodge. Let's change those uh, assignments. I'm going to say, let's keep it at... 10 a day? No, I got 700 and something on hand right now. I'm not even going to be selling them. Let's let's drop that to zero and let's increase this to 100. Because I'm not even using the feathers right now. I will use them about 10 at a time. Because right now the feathers I've got on hand, that'd be 718 feathers or something. Okay, so she's going to gather five leather a day. That's really not that much. That's really not that much. How much meat does she gather a day? Does she gather more meat? She's going to gather 11 meat a day at 100%. How much does the roasted meat sell for? Because that just doesn't seem like very much at all. Eight. So that means it's going to sell for four. That's not very much at all. I'm not happy with those numbers. Okay. How much do feathers sell for? Holy cow. Let's let's see how much feathers sell for. <laughs> Not even worth it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, how about those wooden bolts? I know I put... Didn't I put those wooden bolts in here? Oh, I sold the wooden bolts. I sold the wooden bolts. Okay. How about... I don't have any more wooden bolts on me. I do have stone arrows. Stone arrows will sell for 1.5. I am really, really disappointed in how much they gather for that. Okay. <clears throat> so then maybe copper, copper arrows is going to be where it's at. I mean, I can sell the bags when I do the hunting. But this is a pain in a but okay I, I'm gonna leave her on the leather right now I, I'm, I'm just gonna do that because we do want the leather dang it do I want to leave her on the leather do I want to leave her on the meat I did not realize that the, this was nerfed so heavy what if I have her do dried meat for the village okay let's let's see that if we do dried meat so now she's not even gathering anything for us to sell so 50 there how much dried meat can she do can she keep up with the five no she can't
Okay, so like I can do the hunting. Let's have her do some dried meat. Let's do that. Let's let's go. Wow, that's just like okay. All right, do dried meat. That's fine. Six and a half dried meat a day. Huh. <laughs> let's. Wow. Okay, so like you really need to level up your your villagers to really have them be super productive. And even super productive doesn't seem to be that great. It's almost like they're fillers. Like you're going to be doing a lot of your own stuff if you're going to try and do kind of rush production of things. Now, granted, once we get our village built up, we got all our people in here and everything. We're going to try and figure out what's more efficient for them to do once we're self-sustaining a little bit because that's the whole idea is to try and be self-sustaining to where we can go out we can do the quests we can do yeah, a little hunting if we want to but it's not a necessity for us to have to do the hunting that would be really good or it's not a necessity that we have to go out and chop all the trees now granted we can still go out and do tree chopping we can do the stone collections and all of that but man, early on the villagers are really poopy. Uh, do we still have the bears down here? Is that a bear over there? Yeah, there's a bear over there. How many bears do we have over here? Mr. Bear. I see one. Okay, well, let's get his attention. I definitely want to take care of this bear. Oh, I only have one bronze arrow on me. Is, is that a thing? Yeah, I only have one bronze arrow. Okay, well, let's shoot this one bronze arrow and then see if it'll auto-equip something else. Let's get him right in the noggin. Yes, it equipped the... Oh, he dropped just as I did that. Okay, can you stop moving so much? It equipped the copper arrows. Why are you backing up? Of course, I asked, and he's going to run towards us now. All right, we got him down. Okay, so I must have been hitting him with all those arrows. Now, is... Okay, so it was just the one bear, because the bear marker... You can barely see it. It's gray right there. I wish they'd almost like highlight it, like give it an outline of white or something. So see how they're, they have the, the solid interior is white, letting you know that there are active animals there. With it gray, it's really hard to see the gray. Now granted, it does indicate that there's no more animals there, but it would be nice if maybe the outline was white and then there was a gray center. I think it would, that way it's a little easier to spot it on your your map but we don't get a whole lot of meat this time because we only have the one bear yeah 80 meat that's not bad uh do we have any arrows oh, yes we do all over the place <laughs> these may have been from the last time i i hunted them all right let's go up here and grab these all right so i don't have to worry about the uh the bear and i can go and do mining tonight that's good uh, I say we get, we have this other quest, the Huff Puff Blow. Let's go ahead and get the sticks and the logs and the straw that we need for that. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it. I might move. Can the hunter do extraction? No. No. The hunter can only do hunting. Okay, no worries. No worries, because I'm running low on straw. I guess I'm just going to have to go and gather straw one night. Uh, let's get a drink. There we go. And let's see, because we're going to be going back to town. I need to gather... Do I have th three logs? Grab three logs. There we go. Now I, my one extraction person is getting like 70 
uh, 70 logs a day or something. So that's going to help a lot. Uh, let's see, we need 26 sticks. 26. And we need 17 straw. Yeah, see, I've only got 37 straw left. Now I got 20 straw left. I don't don't really need the straw except for like buildings like these. You know, if I build another farming shed, I think it's got a straw roof on it. Uh, I just unlocked the resource storage too. So that's going to have that plank roof. But I kind of want to get kind of want to get some more houses done before I go spending a lot of resources to get the resource storage too. Okay, so We've got all our items for both our quests, so let's head to town and get that done. Let's see, do I have anything excess on me that I need to drop? Yeah, that fur and that meat. Actually, the meat I can cook. Oh, the fur. I was going to see about putting some of these rugs in the houses. Uh, let's go here. Let's see if we can figure this out. Oh, i got to have my hammer out. Decorate. E. Decorate. Uh, let's see. Slot one. Okay, that's going to be over there. Or slot two. Or slot two. Uh, let's stand here so we can kind of see. E. Slot two. Oh, right in front of the uh, storage there. Okay. And slot three is over by the other bed. And slot four is between the beds. Huh. Okay. Now, because we have that fur that we just got from the bear. Can we unlock any of these? Okay, so we can unlock the badger. And we can unlock the boar. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. We'll unlock the badger and we'll unlock the boar. Uh, let's see. Oh, that goat rug look good there. Oh, the sheep. The sheep rug is nice. Ooh, the bear. Okay, but we can't do those. We can only do the badger and stuff. Let's go back. What was uh, slot two was right here. Let's do let's do the boar in front of the uh, chest here, and then let's go with slot one. Let's do the badger at the foot of the bed. And we'll do, what was three? Three was the other bed. Yeah. Let's do the badger by the beds. I think that's pretty good. And then number four, we'll do another boar rug right there. Kind of wish it was here. That would make more sense. But I guess you get out of bed and you do Put your feet there or whatever. I don't know. There we go. Okay. We got some rugs down there. We can do that in, in each of the houses. Um, I don't know if anybody's in this house. Doesn't matter. We can do it anyway. Uh, let's go one. Yep. And then we can go number two spot. Do the boar. We can do the number three spot. Do the badger. We'll do the number four spot. A boar. Oh, we're out of fur. Okay, perfect. We have fur in the in the storage shed, so that's fine. I'll go drop off what little bit I got left, and then we can go to town. But there we go. Got some rugs in, in a house. Let's pull our, our longbow that we lost half our health on. That was a little frustrating. Do I have any food on me? Mmm. I should probably grab some. I can't really carry much more anyway. I'm going to... Where's my kitchen? Because I moved it. <laughs> I'm going to roast up the rest of the meat that I just got from that bear. So we can sell all of that meat when we go to town. There we go. Now, since I have some meat on me... I can eat some meat. There we go. 
And we are just a tad dirty. Let's go ahead and go wash because we're going to get a little bit dirtier running to town. There we go. We're all nice and clean. Pull our bow out. Let's go down by the river, I think, and see about maybe catching this boar area, the boar spawn. Maybe get a little bit... Oh, you know what? I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that because I'm already full. We'll come back and maybe catch that. So, making money in the game right now, hunting and getting the meat and leather, crafting the leather into bags, and cooking the meat into roasted meat is a really nice way to make some money. And then also, because you're going to be out hunting and exploring anyway, hitting all of the loot locations that you come across and then selling the unnecessary stuff that you get from those places. So that's a fairly decent, you know, steady income, so to say. Because it's not like you got to have a ton of money. Um, but I pro I'm going to need to be getting... Uh, I don't, do I have enough fertilizer? I got to see how much fertilizer I have. I may have to buy some to get ready for next season because we got a lot of stuff going in the ground next season. I got to put, I could put carrots in the ground this season. I do need to do that. Maybe I'll do that tonight. We got onion going in the ground, I believe, next season. Quite a few things going in the ground in the spring. All right, I'll see you folks when we get to town. All right, so we're in town, and we got to deliver our hammer to somebody that's right in here. Ah, probably this guy right here that's hammering. <laughs> Dragomir? Mr. Dragomir. Uh, here's a new hammer for you. Try not to... Lose it. I'm assuming that's going to say lose it. Uh, I swear, if you say try not to lose it this time, I'll snap. Uh, do you people think I am purposely trying to misplace those damn hammers every other day? Uh, I'm the victim here. Look, I'm just doing business here. No judgment. See you soon. <laughs> Hammer away, buddy. Okay, so Huff Puff Blow is a thousand meters in the other direction. Why is it not showing up on the map? But I'm assuming I got to go to Klonica to turn it in. Can I see? Oh, I have wild animals turned on. There it is. Yeah. So I got to go to Klonica to turn that in. Okay. Uh, sure. That's probably fine. I can probably do a little bit of hunting and stuff along the way. Uh, let's go over like here. And let me see your wares. What do I have to sell? I brought some meat. Yeah, let's sell some of this meat. We're going to do a little hunting along the way, so I'm going to sell all the meat. I'll go ahead and I'll sell that one bag. Oh, I still had straw on me. I didn't drop that straw off. And three logs. Boy, I Whatever am you need. doing Bye. good today. Okay, no worries. All right, let's start... Um, is there a quest over here? Is this like a seasonal quest? Where is this at? I gotta find this the quest marker. You can see it at the top of the screen. What time is it? No, we're we're not starting this today. Let's let's start heading off towards Klonica so we can turn this this other quest in. Maybe get a little hunting done along the way. And maybe we'll do that, uh, pick up that other quest a different day. Because I got stuff I'm trying to still get, trying to get my settlement set up and stuff. Should be good to go. Maybe check this little location right up here. See if there's anything spawned in it. See if we have bandits, maybe. I have three copper arrows. 
I don't know how many arrows of any type I've got. I just have a random assortment. Well, the music's not changing yet. Okay. Did we already hit this and there's not going to be anything here? Yeah, it's all empty. All right, so it hasn't respawned. So we're just going to keep moving. Just keep moving. See if we can get a moose, maybe. Is he stuck? Are they both under there? Uh, let's see. I think they're both stuck. Okay, we got that one. Oh, now my stamina is going. Okay, well, we unstuck the moose. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and skin these guys up. Fifteen leather and thirty meat. And twenty leather and forty meat off of that one. Is there anything in these buildings? Need to be able to use oh, I need to grab my arrows. I need to be able to use my my witcher sense. <laughs> pick up the arrows. Come on, pick it up. There's another one there. I've been playing some Witcher 3 lately. It's really nice to have that Witcher sense so you can kind of see what you can loot. Oh, uh, let's see. What is this? Berry wine. Oh, there's a bag. That's good. We can keep that. Oh, some boots. Like, what kind of boots? Like 370 coin worth of boots? Uh, let's see. What is that going to be? Uh, 150 plus, what, 35? So, like, 185 for boots? Nice. Are they better than what I'm wearing? They seem to be. Yeah, they seem to be better than what I'm wearing. Plus 14, it says. Yeah, plus 20. Okay, we're going to put those on. And we'll sell these fur boots. I'm not going to make as much money, but. Those give us more cold protection. So these boots are definitely better in the winter. And I got a little bit cold last night when I was... Oh, what's this poor guy here? Poison arrow, iron arrows. Nice. This poor guy here didn't do good. Oh, a copper knife. I'll take that off you, sir. You don't seem to need it anymore. I don't see anything else. What's that? What was that? I saw it. Okay, I literally saw something flash. Now I don't see it. Wait, dang it. Oh, it's a straw. Oh, I can collect straw from outside the building. Oh my gosh. Okay, what was that? Oh, it's a stick. Okay. Anything else? Is there another building here? There is. I don't... Don't notice anything on this building. Yeah, I think it's just... It's sunken in the ground. Somebody picked a poor location to build. Okay, let's uh, let's actually cook this meat up real quick. Let's do a little campfire. This area is restricted. I'm too close to that. How big is the restriction? Big enough. Oh, yeah, I'm almost out of it. All right, what's in this little... Is there anything in here? No, I don't see anything. 
All right, let's see if we can get out of this little restriction zone. And make a campfire. There we go. It ain't me, I don't have a torch. I never made a torch. Go ahead and cook up this 70 meat. There we go. Yay, a production level. Let's grab our hammer out and let's go ahead and destroy that campfire. All right, let's keep moving. We've got 368 meters left to go. Is that another busted cart right there? It looks like it. Uh, beer bottle, beer bottle, beer bottle. They didn't leave us any beer in it, though. Oh, there's an old beer. We'll take that. Nope, 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 nope. That. Push the right button. Uh, cabbage. Hop. Is there something else on the ground? Oh, another bag. Nice. Do like the bags. That appears to be everything that I'm noticing. I'm sure somebody's going to say, oh, you missed this. And you're probably right. I did probably miss something. Now there is hunting that we can do over here. There's license just over there that we could go hunt. How much space do I have? I don't think I've got enough space to go hunting three or four Wysant. But there's deer over there as well. And then... Where is it at? So you've got... I'm trying to think of where I'm at here. So it looks like I think you got deer here. I think there's Wysant here. You'll have boar here. And I believe you might also have Wysant again up here. I don't think I've explored that. So I don't, yeah, see, I don't have all of that showing yet because I haven't explored it. So, just to kind of give you a little idea. But let's go ahead and head into here to Klonica and turn this quest in and sell what we've got to sell. Because uh, the sun's starting to go down. I'm going to need to probably start working my way back to town. Or back to my village, I should say. I could probably do a little bit of hunting along the way, but we'll have to see. Alright, so where are we going... Back in here. Alrighty, so I've been I've had questions where to get pigs. And if you ha about halfway through Klonica, if you look to the left, they're tucked behind the building there. So this is where you get pigs from. Alrighty, so our person is standing here at the back of the house. Oh, stepped on a little piggy. <laughs> Alrighty. Hello, Hello there. Uh let's see. Would you like to see my pigs? No, I have a quest to turn into you, though. Did I not? Do I not have all of the stuff? Farewell. Oh, I used the sticks to make that daggum fire. All right, wait, let's go get some more sticks. We need, we need 26. There's 24. 26 exactly. All right, now we should be able to turn this in. Um, here? No, here. Yeah, there's a little piggy sitting on the ground. Whoop! Excuse me, little piglet. How are you? Would you like to see my pigs? No. What am I Take missing? Time. Oh, the freaking straw! Gosh dang it! Like I used all of the stuff. I needed a torch. I failed. I know. All right, let's go grab some straw. Twelve. Thirteen. 15, 17. There we go. Okay, now we got it. Jeez Louise. Quitting time, bell. Oh, now she moved. Oh, here she is. How about now? Yay, we got it this time. 
Uh, let's see. I brought you the materials for your pigsty. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. First, I see a lone wolf creeping near the pig, piggy, near the pigsty at night. Uh, then this wind. That's a miracle. It's still standing. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look too bad that bad at first glance, but it would be a pity if it crumbled on your pigs. Thank you. We got 23 coin and 100 dynasty reputation. Good deal. Okay. I am going to mark my village there. And I am going to start working my way back home. Working my way downtown. That way I can kind of explore what's, you know, what's out this direction. Might do a little bit of hunting along the way. Just to see what we got. Now, I know this little field out here is really good field for picking flowers during the spring and summer and fall. I'll show you where it is on the map real quick. This field right here. So this is a real good area out here. It's just real heavy with flowers and stuff. Uh, in my personal playthrough, I was, I was out here. I think I spent a day and a half just picking flowers out there. Got a ton. We're already, folks. Sun's going down. Actually, it's already down. It looks like the moon's already coming up. But I think we're going to call this an episode. I appreciate everybody joining me today. If you folks are liking these, definitely click that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Special thank you to my members. You should be able to see them on the screen now. And we will see you in the next one. You take care and happy hunting.